is doing it. He has the attitude to move forward and go on with this adventure and also uh, confront what's going on. And then he comes back here into the physical. And that's what it's like happening, too, on the real side. He's uh, deciding to confront this uh, with others, uh, the real guides and whatever, to, uh, you know, I went through the same thing when uh, I took the rod of power, etc., and I was constantly confronting uh, the uh, Ekin car at the time and the people there trying to see who would wake up and who was interested. So the idea is, is that uh, on the third and fourth floor, the third floor is the memory, fourth floor is the mental. Yeah, there are treasures there. That's kind of the idea. In other words, there are individuals uh, uh, you might say it that way, one way that uh, are ready to, uh, you know, step forward and whatever, but they need help, especially in the physical. They need help to recognize their intent because, you know, as we've created the personal self, the personal self has taken over our intent and placed it uh, into this world. Uh, of literalization and business uh, and all these funny things, these systems, spiritual, political, whatever, education, thinking in those terms only, and that's where our intent goes. Like the normal person goes to school, and then they want to go to college, then they want to get a career and get more, more degrees or whatever. That's where their intent is, not seeing what they're going through. So this is the opportunity. Uh, the treasure is there. But, uh, you know, being creative here and as he steps up, anybody steps up to present something because this is the opportunity and things can come and go because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day here. You know, all kinds of funny things can happen and you see it too. It has not gotten better. The world keeps getting worse. So we have to uh, be aware and take on this adventure. Otherwise, we get lost in all of it, and then we just stay afraid. Yeah, so he's stepping up, and uh, yeah, so he's given the hint there. All of a sudden, he goes on Instagram, and he sees this. Well, this is what's happening. He's confronting this. The black building is like Eckes and other people that are trapped there. And so uh, the treasure is not only of them, but for himself to become more aware, you see? So, again, that's the hint. So, as each person steps up and does something, this is the group I just wrote, share and become more aware, uh, you become more aware, too. This is how it works. And, again, he's uh, fixing the cell phone because today we have technology. And uh, on the real side, the cell phone uh, simply represents communication. And so many people are confused, and so they're helping him communicate, okay, uh, with the real side. Because your cell phone is really multidimensional, just like your computer. When you're looking at the computer screen, uh, you're looking into another, uh, you know, you're looking into a cyberspace realm. And this is just how it is today. So on the real side, when it's not working, uh, there's a miscommunication of what's possible. And so he helped that. And help the individual and his uncle. And again, yes, there's nothing to be afraid of. See, he's stepping up and he's saying that there's nothing to be afraid of. Just wake up. So this world, uh, and again, I just wrote another group the other day, Fear to Fear. This world is based upon fear and fear is used all the time. And so, yes, we all have fear within us. It's okay. But we are awareness. That's the best part. And as you focus on what awareness is, okay, you can deal with this better. Otherwise, you stay locked into it. So, see, he's stepping up and he's helping others. It's very, very important. So the treasures that uh, can be shared amongst all is that of awareness. That's the first steps. The third, like I said, the third floor is the memory. Fourth floor is the mental realm. And so this is where it starts uh, as people can understand something just like here, but not just see it as literal, but learn to see more and then get into the next level, which is the etheric, which is the intuitive senses of the individual to eventually uh, gain insight 
and recognize beyond creation the real awareness. This is what's so cool. And we're the only ones doing this. Well, uh, yes, we all go through this stuff, and it's not easy at times. Uh, and it's multidimensional um, as he's facing this. So I would say the individual that, uh, you know, he was walking with, one of the real guides or Paul or Rebus or whatever, and gave him the hint to do something. And all of a sudden, uh, it triggered this. Okay, it's a trigger. And many times it's within ourselves, too. Uh, we're facing ourselves. We're facing our own resistance, our own arrogance. It, it just depends. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we're learning to see what creation really is and not what we think it is. So, again, we've been taught a particular way. We've been literalized to this world only. And it has nothing to do with what creation is or all life is. Nothing to do with it at all. We are all free beings of light. We are already that. And so it's always the big challenge. Yeah, and it seems really scary. And it is because we just seem so little and life seems so big. But a step at a time, here it comes. Yes. Again, they are aware that he's aware. And so you have to be aware of that. All right, so there you go. It's all about being aware, isn't it? And so as we become more aware, they become more bothered by that in the physical or whatever. It's not all on the real side because the real side is actually right here. It's all right here. It's just how you see it. And so because there is a division, supposedly, of the different multidimensions and creation, most people do not see it because, again, they've been literalized to be one dimensional and not see the other dimensions. But it's all happening right here. And the shapeshifters know this. They know most people can't see. So they bother them in different ways to scare them, to keep them in fear. And so there's his experience. It doesn't matter if it's in the physical. Physical, astral, causal, mental, etheric, everything in creation, all here now. It's all here now. You're using all the different bodies. You're on so-called different levels or dimensions. All here now. It is. It's an isness. So learning to recognize that and see the reptilians who are shapeshifters, multidimensional, they're recognizing that people are waking up and they don't want this to happen uh, in the physical. They want to keep them there. So they're going to scare them in the physical too. Yeah, many people that are very sensitive, they see this. Okay. And it's how it's interpreted. So, again, he's stepping up. This is why he's being bothered physically. And, yeah, this is how it is. This is the world we're on. Wake up. Pay attention. And this is a huge opportunity. And the more you become involved, the more you'll see, the better you'll be. But I know it's a step at a time. And um, it's not to radically change anything. But just have the intent to keep going and that's what the real guides use is they utilize your intent to get you better situated. But you have to go through uh, what you have to go through. So it's just like a journey. Uh, you know, if you're hiking or something like that, you got a lot to go through to get to your destination. But if you don't do it, how are you going to get there? And this is what it takes. It takes a lot because it's a, it's a huge wake up for everybody. I've been doing this a long time, my whole life, 50, 60, 70, 80 years, and, you know, it's a lot. <laughs> so the kids are just starting out, and I know it's not easy because you have your social life, and that social life is very important, but it will vanish like it always has. It will vanish. You know, in the old days, we'll go back, you know, Rebazar and many of the boys and whatever, they immediately just left their families by off into the mountains, off into caves and sat there for years to get rid of all the nonsense. But today we're so embedded with all this socialness. So it's all streamlined. But again, you have to take the risk. There's no way around it. You've got to take the risk. There's no easy way got to learn to face it. Be brave. You're going to cry and scream and whatever. That's part of it. You're going to get hurt sometimes. I've been there. Uh, and I don't know what's coming up next, but I just keep going because there's nothing else here. This place is dying 
and we're going to do the best we can. But it's not even about saving the earth. It's not about that. It's not having a happy home here. It's about waking up all the way. That's very, very real. Take that to heart or whatever. And most people throw it out because they don't see the invisible rea reality all life is. Life is not visible. It's invisible and can only be seen with the real awareness realistically. What we're seeing here is an artificial appearance. That's it through the eyes, through the physical body, artificial appearance. And because we have feelings and mind and memory and all this stuff, we think, oh, gee, these things are whatever. But they're not. They're nothing. They'll, they all vanish. So this is a great opportunity to to get real and be okay. And for those that step up and others are doing it, yeah, it's all for you.